Hey guys! Today we are making a Princess Jasmine cake from Disney's live action hit, Destiny's Child. I love the colors on this cake. I love the purple. There is no purple. I love the pink. I love the turquoise and I definitely love the gold. Luster dust all day every day, you guys. Welcome to another episode of Quality Pops. My name is Robert Downey Jr. and let's get started. I wasn't actually going to create this cake, but I had a lot more time on my hands than I thought, so I figured why not. This is kind of the secondary jasmine cake because you get the turquoise one, which is like the iconic one, and then you also get like the celebration wedding one, which is also pretty iconic. But I really love all of the details and I love the colors. So we're starting out with the basic doll cake shape. The only thing that really differs from all the other doll cakes is what I did to the top of it. Usually when I create a doll cake, there's a seam right at the top, right where the bottom of the doll cake meets the waist of the actual doll. I wanted to see if I could eliminate that, so I added some fondant around the top of the cake. And then I placed on my first layer of fondant. I love this red. Oh, I love this pink. Actually, I don't have the color, I don't think. It's kind of like a kiss and tell. Uh, you shouldn't though. <laughs> now the fondant that I added on top added height to the dress, but it didn't add volume to the side, so we still get that V shape that I really like. I just pushed that up against her waist, and voila, I got rid of the seam, see? I've been making doll cakes for like four years and I solved a problem that I've always had forever. Although it didn't really bother me to begin with. Um, I guess it did though. Now if you like videos like this, remember to hit the like button. It really helps me know what kind of videos you'd like me to produce. Do you guys love doll cakes? Hit the like button and I'll make some more. I added some texture to the dress and then I started to wrap some fondant around her top. Now I'm gonna adjust this later on in the video but the fondant is really, really soft and I kinda want the outside of it to crust so it becomes a lot easier to cut. Now I'm adding a panel of teal or turquoise. Actually, oh, I like that. It's like a water park. Although I don't really know why you'd want your water park to be like a green blue. Something tells me that that's not all water. So I'm paneling a triangle at the front of the cake and then I'm adding some sail like kiss and tell folds to the side. I just folded it over to make it look like fabric. Ta-da, look at that. Now I love the color of this dress. I didn't put it back on the doll because the doll is still in the cake. So I'm trying to mimic all of the features and details on this dress. So we got the turquoise trim on the bottom and I just wrapped it all the way around. And when the fondant on the top had time to crust, I cut out the proper shape. Then I added some more water park colored trim to the top as well. Now if you haven't already, make sure you check out my first jasmine doll cake. It looks sick. I love all the piping. I love the colors. The luster dust is immaculate in this piece. I'm super proud of this, so go check it out. While I was working on this cake, I was watching this show on Netflix called No Good Nick. What is that show? I watched the first episode and I, 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 don't, I don't know what to think. I, I don't know what to think. So it's about this girl who's kind of conning the family that she lives with. So it's really dark, but it is a sitcom featuring Melissa Joan Hart and it's very heartwarming. And so it kind of, I don't, it throws me off. Like I don't, I'm not sure how to feel because it doesn't seem like the situation that they're in matches the tone of the show. But then it does because the characters are so likable. So, have you seen it? What do you think? Now there is a lot of gold detail on this dress and I was scared that it was gonna be too much detail but I love the way it turned out in the end. And I created some ropes of mustard yellow fondant and I just wrapped them around the side of the dress. So I started at the front, finished it at the back. Hello, did she say that? I think she said that. Now there's six ropes, and so I added six at the beginning, but I realized that every other rope is a lot more detailed. So I decided to take off some of those ropes and create that design with some piping. I'm just using some mustard yellow royal icing. Piping takes a lot of time, but I love doing it. With doll cakes, it's probably a little bit more difficult because when you're adding detail to the top, you know, you're working on this like, really really tiny shape and so you're trying to pipe it out as clean as possible and it takes such a long time 
Especially with all of Jasmine's dresses from the movie, it they're so detailed. So I tried to mimic this as much as possible, but I also tried to interpret it in a way that would be easy for me to pipe. Cause man, that's a lot of little beads to pipe out. Now, once I finished all of my piping, it was time to luster dust this baby. I mixed a little bit of gold luster dust with some magic sauce, and I just started to paint it very, very carefully. The luster dust adds so much depth to this dress. The mustard yellow fondant looks very like pedestrian, and then you add the luster dust and, and it upgrades it so much. Just worked my way all the way around the doll. And notice that I did the back of the doll cake. Sometimes I don't because I'm really lazy, but I made the effort. Now I started to apply all of her gold jewelry that came with the doll. I painted luster dust onto the crown and her necklace as well. And voila, our jasmine doll cake was complete. Now the water park color on the front is actually supposed to be pants, but how am I supposed to do that? I don't know. So I decided to just turn it into like fabric on the dress. I really thought all of the gold on this dress was gonna be overwhelming, but it wasn't. It looks so nice. I'm curious, what other doll cakes would you like to see me make? Or would you like to see me redo? I'm probably gonna be doing like two doll cakes a month, I think, maybe more. I'm really good at overwhelming myself. I hope you guys enjoyed this. I love you, I will see you very soon. Peace.